It's an everyday dilemma for working parents. You need a job so you can provide for your children, but who will watch them while you're off at work? For many parents living in so called child care deserts, options are few and far between. WJZ is live at 11. Caroline Forback is looking closer at where our neighbors are struggling with that crucial balancing act. Caroline. Vic, good evening. Maryland researchers using new software have identified areas in the state where child care providers are scarce. Tonight we spoke with officials about what this means for families and what state and local leaders can do about it. Researchers at Maryland Family Network identified areas in the state with alarmingly low numbers of child care providers. These child care deserts, according to communications director Doug Lent, have a greater than three to one ratio of children to spots available. There's not enough child care programs uh, in a community to meet the needs of the children who live in that community. Lent says three counties in Maryland fall under this category, Garrett, Cecil and Somerset, as well as 20 legislative districts in the state. Lent says it's hard for child care providers to make ends meet, and the pandemic did not help. They historically have operated on razor thin margins. Uh, they are paid very, very little. He says the impact on children and families is severe, especially because the first five years of a child's life are so vital for social and cognitive development. When they do have access to these programs, we see them ready for kindergarten. We see them much more likely to graduate from high school. We see them have healthy uh, family relationships of their own. They even earn more money and are physically and mentally healthier, too. I had some rubber hoops on to watch my child so I can, you know, make a living for us. Access to child care can make or break a family's ability to earn a living. In Baltimore County, Lataja Chamberlain says having child care options nearby allowed her to go back to work. MFN and Upfront, a software company that validates and provides access to child care data, developed a real-time interactive mapping tool to track the availability of child care throughout the state. Their goal is to show government officials and policymakers where investments in early care and education are needed the most. Without that investment, um, you know, from the policymakers into growing these areas, places like Baltimore City will become a desert very soon. And Lent says the Maryland Family Network is trying to spread awareness about child care scholarship funds for families in need. The organization will even help families apply for those funds. Reporting in Baltimore, Caroline Forback, WJZ. Vic.